The final part of this I brought up earlier um, about what's going on with this pandemic in uh, in Black America, right? And Joe Biden talked about this at the very top of the show, and then kind of never they, they just never brought it up again. And that's well, you saw what happened; they got cut off. Um, as of May twentieth, this is a Guardian reporting that I read. As of May twentieth, twenty thousand Black Americans have been reported to have died because of COVID-19. The last number I heard was 80,000 people total in America that have died. Uh, that's, that's a quarter of the population. Uh, that's a quarter of the death toll that's from Black America, you guys. One quarter of the death toll. That's fucking crazy. And this is only what's reported, right? Uh, and there are some states that are not releasing racial information. So it could be higher. The percentage could be higher. We could be looking at 30, 35%. Because there's states like Nebraska and Montana that are not releasing the, um, the racial breakdown. Not only that, but I think the number of overall deaths from this disease is probably a lot higher as well because not everybody can afford testing. It's... It's just too expensive for some people. Not everybody can afford the treatment. Not everybody can afford paid time off because you got companies like Amazon that are that are cutting back paid time off. That are cutting up cutting back sick leave, that are taking away hazard pay to the essential workers. So I think these numbers are going to be much higher, right? And then on top of that, we have no idea what the numbers are going to be when we look at the economic factor involved. There are a lot of black people that are unfortunately in a very tight economic situation. There's a lot of brown people that are in a very tight economic situation. Women, members of the LGBTQ community. Class doesn't know colors and sexual identities and sexual orientation. Working class people are struggling in this country. And I think a lot more working class people, regardless of your gender, your race, your creed, your sexual orientation, or your identity, are going to face a lot of hardships because the donor class that Joe Biden belongs to, that community, which he bragged about earlier, isn't doing a goddamn thing to help the working class people. I think if you look at the number of people uh, that die because they don't have health care, that you know will break a leg or get a stomach problem or uh, early, early signs of cancer or something along those lines, you're going to see those numbers go up. You're going to see those numbers go up. There is a plan in place. You can use Medicare for all. You can use uh, this the the uh, war wartime defense act, I think, or something along those lines, or, or and a federal jobs guarantee idea. If healthcare is nationalized, uh, put more people to work. Uh, Sweden did this. I know there's some controversy over over what Sweden did, but Sweden did get a couple things right. First of all, they took a bunch of people from the airline industry and trained them to do administrative work in hospitals and, and sterilize hospital equipment. They also made hospital equipment. They also made PPEs to give to, to, to make sure that their healthcare system wasn't get over, gonna get overrun by this thing. So there you go. There's a way that you can use federal jobs guarantees and this defense act, defense manufacturing act. But, the, but we're not doing that. And everybody in the middle class is suffering because of it. A measure of a country should be determined by how well it takes care of its poorest and most vulnerable. And right now, Joe Biden is failing at that because he has no plans. He went into hiding in his fucking basement cave that he has to share, I guess, with his wife. Trump is failing because he refuses to look at anything except for how to make money off of this thing. The Democrats are failing because they literally refuse to put legislation in place and fight for that legislation to help middle class Americans. The Republicans are failing because they don't give a shit. They don't give and they're very forward about it. <laughs> the liberals are failing. The conservatives are failing. I'll tell you where we're not failing. What we're doing inside our own communities, we're not failing at that. I have seen more generosity. I've seen more acts of kindness. I've seen more people willing to take care of each other from a distance than I have in any other time in my life right now. Mutual aids are succeeding. 
mutual aids. There's, I've talked about mutual aid revolutions all across this country all the time. A bunch of times I've brought this up in my videos. Mutual aids are succeeding. There's no quid pro quo. If you can, great. If you can give something in return, great. If you can financially contribute, great. That's awesome. But if you can't, that's okay because they're there to help. You're going through a rough time. Your community's got you. That's what mutual aid is. Eleanor Goldfield, who's uh, been on my podcast, she's a good friend of mine. I've, I've, I get a chance to uh, talk to her and work with her quite often. Uh, is doing a lot of great mutual aid work in D.C. And uh, my good friend Lee Camp and Eleanor do these live streams on Fridays and uh, or Thursdays, I think. Thursdays and at some point during the week. Uh, I think it's Thursdays. Sorry. Days of the week are starting to get blurred if I don't have a date associated with them. Um, but but they're but they're raising funds for mutual aid. And whatever little you can give is enough. It helps. So keep your eyes peeled for their live streams um, and, and donate to a mutual aid. Donate to a mutual aid in your community. See if there's anybody doing this mutual aid type of stuff. Um, you know, see who's hurting in your community. Is there somebody that needs your help? Boom, you helping them out. You going over there and saying, hey, here's a bag of groceries. Here's a giant fucking casserole. Mutual aid, there, there it is. Jay, I know Jay did some stuff where, where he um, had some pasta and he made some pasta and he gave it to some folks. That's fucking mutual aid. That's all it is. I've seen more of that happen now than ever. And you know where it's not coming from? From fucking Congress. None of it's coming from Congress. Worker strikes, those are going to succeed. That's going to push back. So they have to they have to do what we need. Those workers are, are going to show people exactly how essential workers are. You want your groceries. Well, what are you going to do when there ain't going to be, when there's any, nobody to fucking get the groceries into the store? What are you going to do when there's nobody there to check it out? What are you going to do when there's nobody there to deep clean Target? Because these people need to be treated properly and they're not. And they're not in a safe working environment. Those are probably going to succeed. We're heading our way into a general strike, folks. There are hospital employees right now that are pretty goddamn sick of the way we're doing shit in this country. And they are starting to strike. That's fucking exciting to me. Our solidarity will succeed. Us helping each other out. We'll succeed in that. We will succeed in that. All right, that is uh, that is the 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 last little bit of uh, of what I have to say. I want to look at the last couple comments coming in here. Uh, healthcare system is less likely to test people of color. They slap a bandage on it and wash their hands. Yeah, um, that's kind of what they do. <laughs> they don't really go into the low income communities. Actually, there was a doctor. Uh, he was a black doctor that got profiled in uh, Florida, um, and he was going and testing homeless people and making sure. You know, do they have uh, COVID? Uh, what are they doing to keep to, to to socially distance? Do they have masks? Do they have gloves? How do we treat this thing? What do we do to take care of them? What do we do to make sure that the and he got and and he got racially profiled and almost arrested uh, because the cop couldn't believe that he was an, a, a a doctor, right? Nobody's going into that. It's just individual doctors making the decision for themselves to go into these communities, go into poor people's communities and help them out. Give them testing, give them treatment, get them masks, get them gloves. Yeah. You know? A general strike will be the final straw. It's the only thing that people have left. Yeah, that's usually what, what happens with strikes. Uh, we've talked a bunch about strikes um, uh, on these videos, and that's usually what happens. You know, you try to negotiate, uh, but with the with the state of unions in this country, there's really no not a lot of collective bargaining happening. There's not a lot of collective bargaining happening at McDonald's or Amazon. Uh, or a bunch of these giant corporations that are that have made tr trillions of dollars uh, during this global pandemic, and um, you know there's not a lot of collective bargaining happening there. Uh, so strikes are essentially our last ditch effort to make some shit happen, and that's what we're seeing all across the country. And and we're approaching the general strike. I mean. Go to paydayreport.com. That's an excellent site to um, to keep up on what's going on. The last time I checked, which was yesterday afternoon, we were looking at over 220 strikes across this country. 
Uh, I've talked a lot about strikes. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm for it. I'm there, you know, fucking let's do this thing. Don't cross those picket lines, people don't cross those picket lines. So, uh, yeah. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel for, uh, for more. There's going to be daily videos going up, uh, on this channel. Uh, I am also, uh, going to be performing virtual live stand-up comedy shows via Zoom. Uh, I've done a couple of these and they've been super, super fun. So thank you to all the people that have already purchased tickets and uh, come out to these shows on a regular basis. They're, they're pretty fun. I'm going to be doing them every single Friday in the month of June. Tickets are available for those right now on my website at krishmohan.com. So that's June 5th, June 12th, June 19th, and June 26th going at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific uh, if you're in the other time zones. I think you can figure out what what time that <laughs> these shows are going to be on. Uh, they are going to be each show is going to be a little bit different. They're going to be covering topics like the one uh, in the video that you just watched. Uh, again, you can grab your tickets at krishmohan.com. It's K R I S H M O H A N every Friday at June 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and uh, if you are a sustaining member, you get a free ticket to every single one of these shows. Uh, and you can become a sustaining member over uh, on my website as well. And uh, I know P I know times are tough, uh, so if you are in a financially precarious situation, please send me a message uh, or an email, and I will happily give you a code that will get you a, uh, a free ticket to attend these shows. Uh, I'm also releasing my brand new stand-up comedy album, which if you're a sustaining member, you get an early uh, early release version of, early uh, early copy of. Uh, it is available on my Bandcamp page to pre-order right now, and it comes out June 1st. So you can go to ramennoodlescomedy.bandcamp.com, get, uh, get your copy of it uh, for only a dollar. You can pre-order it for only a buck. If you want to donate a little bit more, that would be awesome as well. Uh, there are more videos like this coming up. I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, a bunch of live streams pretty regularly from my Facebook page and uploading and releasing videos via the YouTubes and uh, and the, on the audio podcast versions as well. So stay tuned. Make sure that you like, make sure that you share, and make sure that you're subscribed to these pages because content like this often gets uh gets suppressed so uh thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for hanging out and uh till the next one we'll see you on the road thanks